After a brief lull, Kilauea exploded in fury again Tuesday afternoon. New fissures bursting up and blocking escape routes in Lamani Estates. Hawaiian Governor David Iggy says this type of natural disaster is unique from others. Volcanic events are unpredictable. Uh, we can't determine which direction it'll go. Uh, we can't determine where the fissures and where the eruptions will occur. The fissures appear to be linear, but where lava burst out in the line is random. The National Guard can't fight this, only monitor the invisible enemy, poisonous gases that are being emitted. I know what our highest readings are, and if the plume is to turn and come this way, how can we best keep the public safe? Monitoring stations along with soldiers using portable multi-ray scanners are constantly monitoring the area, braving levels of sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide that can make people without air purifying respirators pass out immediately. Don't let anybody pass us. But residents are willing to risk it to recover what they can before the volcano takes it forever. It just makes your eyes water, your uh, throat hurts, um, everything hurts, so and your lungs literally ache, so you gotta just run. With a natural disaster as old as time and no end in sight, Hawaiians are turning to traditional offerings to the volcano goddess Pele, hoping she will somehow spare their piece of paradise. On the big island of Hawaii for AccuWeather, I'm Jonathan Petromala.